Now, this young man was orphaned at the age of six, and until a few days ago, Rupesh Barodi, now 16, had never travelled outside the vast Indian city of Mumbai, where he lives in a children's home. But that's all changed for the talented cricketer from an impoverished background who's spending three weeks at one of the region's most prestigious private schools. I've been to Durham to find out more. If he's suffering from an extreme case of culture shock, then 16-year-old Rupesh doesn't seem to be showing it. In fact, the off-spinner is taking it all in his stride. An exchange programme organised by the charity Cricket Beyond Boundaries is taking talented young Indian cricketers from a range of backgrounds to the UK to enhance their social and sporting development. And that's where 600-year-old Durham School, which has produced a host of first-class cricketers, comes in. Yes, you can ask the question of what's two or three weeks in the UK going to do and how is it going to help Rupesh going back home into the circumstances he's from, but their argument is that it gives the other 280 boys in the orphanage some hope as well and as a result of the cricket programme three or four boys in the last four years have gone on um, to play first class cricket in India. I think the boys really appreciate uh, from what they've heard the culture that he's come from and it's hopefully made them you know see how hard they have to work to get where they want to be. There's a lot to take in the school's rich history, the language barrier of course and British cuisine, although Rupesh says he's enjoying the food and loves having a bedroom to himself, a far cry from the more cramped conditions in the orphanage back in Mumbai. But not everything here is an improvement. He says, like, it, like, it's really hot there and here it's, like, quite cold. Who is your favourite Indian uh, test match player? So, Abka, favourite cricketer, Kante. Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar. Favourite, is my favourite player. I faced him the other day down um, Durham City and he seemed like a really good off spinner there. And then he went in the bat and just as good, so really good cricketer. The first first night he came, we like, didn't speak any English at all. He couldn't understand us and we had to like, do hand gestures just to let him understand us more. And if all goes well for Rupesh, a career in professional cricket beckons. Rupesh thought it was freezing, I thought it was boiling. <laughs> yes, it did. It was indeed. Well, it was fabulous.